Kind of excited. I uh, want to do a real quick video. Today is my son's birthday. He's going to be 23. Can you believe that? So we're going to go out and celebrate. But I thought I would show you really quickly how to pair your Godox X-Pro trigger with your V860 flash from Godox so you can have some beautiful, gorgeous off-camera flash. Let's go. All right. No shame, no blame. That's what you need in your game. Sometimes I need to remind myself, it doesn't matter if we're old or young or veterans or beginners, just sometimes we need a reminder. Take the Godox trigger, uh, the X-Pro, and the Flash, the V862C. Sometimes I need a reminder of how to pair these two so they get them working uh, for an off-camera flash situation. So that's what I'm gonna make this video for, is for myself, because I need a reminder. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your trigger on top of your camera. So there's a little nut like that, you just tighten it down and then you're gonna turn your trigger on, all right? And then you get a, an LCD screen with a bunch of options. Now this is like a Cadillac, it's like a Lamborghini. We're gonna show you how to drive it in Pinto mode, so be ready for that. Next thing is you're gonna mount your flash on top of a hot shoe attachment that goes on top of your light stand. So that could be something like this that has come with the flash, yeah, this comes with the flash. I used to not know what this is, um, but there's a tripod threads right there at the bottom, and you just put it on top of a tripod, and then you can slide the flash right into that um, cold shoe right there. All right, so you're gonna mount your flash. That's step number two. And so once your flash is mounted, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna keep them separate. Once your flash is mounted, you're gonna turn it on. And so now you have your trigger on and your flash on. That seems like it should automatically just work, but there's a step or two remaining. We're gonna look at the top of the trigger unit. Uh, and the X-Pro is handily angled, so it's facing you as you're holding the camera pretty naturally. That's one of the benefits of this X-Pro unit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the mode button and you're gonna see on the top left, it says channel one, and then there's a letter A and it says off. So you're just gonna hit the mode until it says A-T-T-T-L, that's the first click, and then A manual, that's the second click, and that's where we wanna leave it, so A manual. Now we go to our flash. This is where we set the flash to receive the, the command from the trigger. All right, so there's a couple of tricky things about this. Um, one is there's a little lightning symbol that denotes a optical mode. We're not going to use optical mode. And so you take this little um, symbol right here. It looks like a lightning bolt or a Z. And what you're going to do is you're going to click that to cycle through the modes. And so I'm going to click it once and it's going to show optical ETTL. I'm going to click it again and then it's going to show something that looks like an antenna ETTL. Now we're getting close. This is what we need. We need to switch out of those optical, the Z symbols into the, um, the radio frequency controller. Okay, so it's gonna go from the radio frequency ETTL um, with a green screen to a red screen. And the red screen means that it is now in slave mode, which means it's gonna do what it's told. All right, so if we've done this correctly, we have the trigger, which is on, it says channel one, group A, M for manual. And then over here we have the symbol for radio frequency and then M and then slave. And so if I press this button, it fires the trigger. That's it. All right, so there's a, quite a few steps um, and hopefully this was helpful to you. I know it is helpful for me because I often need a reminder. All right. I'm gonna show something that looks like an